Hello guys, in this video we are trying to create this dreamy look effect, inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. And it's something similar to the music video, Rockstar by Post Malone. And this effect is easy to do, but very effective. Now let's see how to make this dreamy look effect inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. So first import your clip to the timeline. Then right click on this clip. Select nest. And click OK. Now duplicate this nested clip twice. So hold on the Alt button. Then drag this clip one track above. And do it again. Now move over to the effects tab. And search for RGB color balance. You'll get it under the image control. Now mark these three layers and apply this effect. So this effect will be applied to the three layers. Then go to the effect controls tab and select the top nested clip. Now under the color balance effect, change the green and blue to zero. Then select the middle nested clip and change the red and blue to zero. Now select the bottom nested clip and change the red and green to zero. Then change the blending mode normal to screen. And do the same thing for the middle and top layers. Now select the top layer, and make the scale size 102. So it will make a nice RGB glow effect. Now move over to the project panel, and make a new adjustment layer. So click on this new layer icon and select the adjustment layer, then click OK, and drag and drop it to the timeline. Now move to the effects tab, and search for fast blur. Then apply this effect to the adjustment layer. Again move to the effect controls tab, then under the fast blur effect, set the blurriness 30, and enable the repeat edge pixels. Then under the fast blur click on this ellipse mask icon. So it will make an ellipse mask on this clip. Then move this mask on your focus point. Also if you like, you can increase the mask size. So click on this center point, and drag it to the top side. Now make the feather 50. Then move the time indicator to the first frame. And enable the inverted. Then again change the mask position to the focus point. Now make a keyframe on the mask path. Then move the time indicator few frames forward. And select the mask one. Again adjust the mask position to the focus point. And do it continue, until your footage is finished. Ok, now change the blending mode normal to screen. So it will make a nice glow effect. Let's see a quick preview. Now if you think this glow too much, you can decrease the opacity. And we are almost done. Now move to the project panel, and again drag and drop this adjustment layer to the timeline. Then move to the effects tab, and search for lens distortion. And you'll get it under the video effects. Now apply this effect to the top adjustment layer. Then go to the effect controls tab under the lens distortion effect. Make the curvature negative 10. So it'll stretch this clip. And that's all for today. If you enjoy this effect, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.